So you finished learning all of the COL algorithms and now you can do the basic cases using an algorithm and get an EPO at the end, so an edge permutation. But now you want to learn them like in a better way, so you can solve this case in just a single algorithm and have a solved cube. So how do you do that? This is what ZBRO is. It's uh, short for Zborowski Bruchum last layer. I I butchered that pronunciation, but is where it's like uh, you have a cross uh, made, and then you do a single algorithm. I screw that up, and to solve the whole cube. So I think there are about there are four hundred and ninety three algorithms, and not many people know all of them. So uh. I might as well just learn it. So here's probably a good way to learn how to le how to learn ZBL algorithms. So they're split into seven sets: the T perm, the not T perm, T case, the U case, L case, Pi, Soon, Anti Soon, H, and PL uh, cases. So the T one I think is this one. So I call this the um the fat and sexy move. Uh, that's the um the card headlights one. There is this, which is like the, um, I don't know, like, this, oops, ever did that, that case, and, um, you've also got the, uh, pi case here, pi, and finally the soon, wait, this is anti-soon, and the soon case. So a way you can just learn them is, um, first of all, Anti soon and soon is just right hand left hand variants of each other. So if you do this for that one, it's the same as doing this for anti soon. And um, also for the simpler cases, like the case where uh, the corners are in the correct place, you can solve them. You can, like, the algorithms are very similar. So in total, there are about, I think, one, two, there are 12 cases for each sub case, sub 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 case. And um, they're normally, they are, they are, one, one of the algorithms is right hand, one of them is left hand. And in, in theory, you actually only have about uh, five algorithms and two of them are slightly different. So for this case here, this is um, the Z perm, Z perm, you can just do this algorithm and you solve it. However, if it was like the other Z perm, so where these two are matching, you just do it left handed and then you've solved it. So basically, I, um, as far as I've learned so far, that's how um, all of these are. I've only learned two subsets. Sub, 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 I don't know. Three subsets, yeah, sub, sub, no, sub, subsets. Yeah, and um, for, the, for the simple one, you can recognize them by like the bar, if it looks like a T perm or not. So this bit here looks like somewhat like an R perm, somewhat. So if I do this, actually, never mind, it does not. This, re this reminds me of an R perm, and then, so, I know it's like a, it's the winter variation uh, something algorithm. It's similar, similar to a winter variation, so I think it's uh, this. Yeah, winter variation, and two, yeah, two winter variations. So another way, another way to uh, approach learning them is to link them with them things you know. So this case here is normally the, the COO case is solved with a soon, no, anti soon, and then one at the back. So this particular case is really similar to the other cases, so the other 12 cases, all of these are really similar. So they all normally have something to do with the soon. This one is, uh, once again, this, this case. So if it was T perm, so it look like a T pump. So if it look like a T pump here, then it's this algorithm here. Yeah. So over the next few weeks or days, I will be like doing or well, learning as I teach uh, these ZBL al ZBL algorithms. And um, yeah. So if you have, if you don't know uh, CFOP, learn that first. And if you don't know winter variation. And if you don't know COOL, so uh, Corner Orienting Last Layer, I think it stands for. Uh, if you haven't done that, then you should learn that before learning this. It's also the same with um, it's the same same with learning uh, VLS. You want to learn um, COOL and and Winter Variation before learning uh, Volk's Last Slot, since that's like 
an advanced version of the uh, winter variation. So there is one person on YouTube who learnt all of these algorithms in two months, but he used like a virtual cube, which I can't really get used to. So I'm just gonna learn it the old school way and make it an making annotations and everything. So yeah, for the cases I've encountered so far, about 24 cases, all of them are, well, only a few of them you actually have to learn. The other ones, so for example, this case here, where it's like an H perm, you, this, you have to learn this. Um, it's also quite a weird algorithm, but if you just do it a bunch of times, you'll remember it by muscle memory. The other ones you can just relate to other bits, like um, I heard some uh, algorithms are also, they also have um, commutators in them. So if you do three blind, um, that's probably good for you. That was not a commutator. Yeah, wait, that's not a commutator either. There we go, commutator. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for ZBOL. So, over the next few days, I will be trying to make. Uh, like the like the Brian Soon short videos of how to do the ZBOL algorithms and how to remember them. So uh, as always, thanks for watching. Like, sub, dislike, comment, and I will see you later. Okay, goodbye.